In this video, we will cover the date functions. As while working with the table so far, we have seen like we have a column of date type. So if I want to do some arithmetic or to perform some functionalities, we do have several options in the Oracle. So let's find out what all arithmetic or functionality we can perform in practical. So before getting started with the functions related to dates data type, let's see what all arithmetic we can do with the dates. As in the previous videos, we have already discussed like whenever you want to get the current system date, you can request sysdate function. So if I'll call this function with a dual table, I will get the current date. So if in the arithmetic, if you want to add some number into it, so it will show you the date after five days. Like here, what I did, select this date plus five. So it will show you the date after five days. That is, it will be 29th of Jan. Similarly, if you will subtract a particular number from it, you will get a date of five days prior. Now, after this, if you want to add few hours with your date or if you want to subtract few hours from your date, you can do that as well. For example, if I want to add 14 hours in my current date and want to check like what will be the date after 14 hours. So you can do that by dividing the number with the 24. So it will be like the you are adding the hours into it. And now after 14 hours, it will be 25th of Jan. Similarly, if you will subtract one date with the another, it will show you the difference in the number of days. For example, if I'll say like here I'm using to date function just to convert a simple string to a date. We will discuss about this conversion function in our coming videos. So let's take some uh, random dates that is uh, let's say 31st December 2016 and I, I will subtract it with a particular date like to date and we'll put the date in the single quotes as you can see let's take any random date all right and uh, again from dual just to complete the syntax and here you can see like it is 10,539 days all right so you can take just any random dates and if whenever you will subtract one date with the another it will show you the difference in the number of days now let's discuss about the methods which are associated with the date data types so let's begin with the first method that is months between so here I will simply call months underscore between function and in this one I will pass a couple of dates like here I will say 31st December 16 and here I'll pass another date let's say 30th June 15 all right so it will show you the difference in the months between these two dates so here you can see it's 18 similarly if you will say any other date uh, uh, beyond this it will show you that I just wanted to show you like it may get return you a decimal value that is just because it is not an absolute difference as here you can see I'm taken I've taken the last date of June and last day of uh, December but if you will not take such, such something like that there may be something in decimal so since it is returning you in um, decimal values it's a number you can simply round off this particular value in order to get a whole number if you require that so I'll simply uh, just make a nesting and I'll add a round function into this and now it will return you the absolute whole number similarly we do have a function called next day in which you can pass a couple of arguments so first of all I'll call a function next underscore day and here in the first argument I will pass a particular date let's say I have taken 26th Jan 17 alright and I want to check like after this when is the next Monday coming so if I'll execute this you can see 30th Jan 17 is the next Monday after this particular date 
like months between which was finding the difference between the two months I can also use the add months method if I want to add one month some months into a particular date for example if I'll take another date let's say 31st December 16 and I want to add let's say 15 months from it from dual alright so after 15 months the date will be 31st March 18 alright so these are some uh, methods which you can use for the particular operations now as in the maths uh, and numeric functions we have already seen about the round and trunk we can do that here as well so here uh, what I'll do is I'll just select round and here I will pass a particular date so let's uh, pass today's date itself that is 24th Jan now if I want to round up this particular date into month on the basis of months so let's see what I'll get here so since it's round as I told you in the arithmetic functions also like if I'll talk about a round function it will take you to the uh, nearest limit means if upper limit is the nearer it will take you to the upper limit if the lower limit is the nearer then it will take you to the lower limit so since it is 24th of a month so the month end is comparatively nearer so if you will ex uh, round it up on the base of month it will take you to the next month that is Feb but if you will use the trunk function here doesn't matter what's today's date it will take you to the beginning spot that is 1st Jan similarly if you will try to round it up on the basis of year so now if I'll talk about year either 2017 1st Jan or 2018 1st Jan obviously if it is if today is 24th of Jan 2017 then the new year of 2017 is very close so you can see 1st Jan of 2017 is here but if I will take any other date let's say 24th August 17 alright and now if I'll round it up alright I'll have to convert it to the date using to date function so it will take you to the 1st Jan of 2018 but again doesn't matter what is the current date if you will talk about the trunk it will take you to the lower limit means still it will drag you till 1st Jan 2017 so these are some commonly used functions that you can associate with the date derives.